We are prepped. We are ready. We are probably incredibly overpowered, but it is time to head to the Ruined Passage. Now, we couldn't have done this until we got Wisp and Shade together. You'll have noticed that of the seven summon cards that we got, the all of them had some sort of magic affinity. You know, I said Earth, Moon, Light, Shade, however, was missing. There is no Shade Wisdom card for whatever reason. There is no dark magic at all. But we needed Shade in order to get here, so he is still important. What are you doing, Misa? Let's head up here, and we can finally open up the seal here. We are more than ready. I have so much crystal equipment now. I see it's the seal. Hey, uh, you called? Hey, it's Shade. I don't like this guy much at all. And I'm afraid that I'm none too fond of you, but the power of both light and dark is needed to break this seal. For the sake of our master, we can endure this unpleasantry. I guess I have to. Okay, let's bust a move. Mm-hmm. And we must fade to grayscale. Great mana goddess, release the restriction on mixing the powers of light and dark. Lead us to your door. Great mana goddess, light and dark. Actually, we just want you to open the door, please. And it worked. Finally! Ordinarily, spells do require specific wording, but since all went well, I suppose it's alright. And away he goes. I assume it's a he. Quit your belly aching! Don't give me that I suppose it's alright nonsense. And they don't like each other. But we have opened up the ruined passes, which is always nice. Friendly rivalry? I think so. I think so. Light and dark seal broken! Hooray! Now, I had mentioned before that I'm not a big fan... Oh, new enemies. Uh, I am not a big fan of using the magic. I'm trying to level up my Nux here, by the way. Uh, the reason for that, I think, is pretty clear. Uh, they have what, uh, I guess, fighting games would call a low priority. What that means is that when I use it in battle, should I get hit in the middle of casting the spell, it will cancel out me using the spell. So if if I'm charging it up, that does that's that's fine. However, if I'm in the middle of casting the spell and I get hit, I will it will cancel. Once again, new enemies! New enemies, heal yourself. Down it goes. Very nice. Uh, when I'm low yeah. What was I talking about? Yes, the the magic. Should I get hit in the middle of trying to cast the spell, it will cancel me casting the spell. However, I will still lose all my MP, and that is not something I would like to do. Is there, there's nothing in these little divots here? Why is, why is there nothing in these little divots? That is, that is messing me up a little bit. So, I'm not a big fan of using the magic in this game, because in order to get close enough to use the magic, I have to get within melee range a lot in order to hit the enemies that I'm looking to attack. So if you say that when I get close enough to the enemy, they can cancel my magic, that puts me off to it. Uh, especially when I'm doing, especially with my build, I should say, I'm doing more damage with physical damage. I am a physical attacker class, job class. chuck -a lump very nice. Luna Icon, I'm probably not going to be using. Probably not going to be using very much at all. I'm not a big fan of the icons. Did I level up my my Nux? Damn it. Wrong one. This one. Uh, I still need to level that up. We are getting close. We are getting close to the end of the game, I should say, but we are close to leveling up my Nux as well. <laughs> and you might notice that occasionally uh, two pieces of damage will show up whenever I hit an enemy. That is because I am also dealing magic damage uh, because I have elemental attributes onto my weapons. If you remember, the crystal had an all 
attribute that was attached to them elementally. Let's just move on out of here, and we can just, well, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Just head on through here, metaballs! Haha, <laughs> you are weak to, ow, oh, you're weak to sword, damn you. You can, you can tell by what he attacks with, that he was weak to sword. I am not a fan of the Meta Balls. Still not. They've had them the entire game, and I still don't like them. And we have Stone Seals over there. That is not very nice at all. Now, I was always told to use Nux whenever I wanted to hit one of these Stone Seals. I do not like using the Nux. I don't like it at all. I believe this would be Dryad. Uh, I don't like using those because it's incredibly short range I have found for for that kind of stuff. Let's take this guy out and we can grab long seed. Hooray! As if I need more seeds at this point. I am done doing all the farming that I need to do. I say we head down first, which would probably be undine here. There's undine. There's undine. So let's try to use it using the nux so I can show my point. That is not right, and it shot out. It does not always do that. So, it was not Undyne. Jin, I believe, is this one up here. Yeah, see, it does not always shoot out. Damn you, Jin. Okay, this is why I use the flail. The flail gives me enough distance, and you saw I lost the MP. No? Wait, it was Wisp? <laughs> she used Wisp on it, and it went away. Very nice. The and we can get obsidian out of that chest, which is always nice. And I cannot grab that from there. And an angel grail, which I'll probably be using a ton of in order to revive Misa. Purple, I swear, was gin. So then it must be... Ah, uh, must be shade. That would make sense as well. So we can head up here now. Continuing to go through the ruined passage. It's not too complicated, this place, I must say. Grab ourselves a gumdrop and... This guy is immune to the flail, so we're going to switch back to the Nux. And this, this I can work with. This I can work with. How did that hit me? I was clearly standing on the side of it. See, that 45 that popped up there, that was elemental damage that I did, magical damage. And I can get another gummy frog so that I can do more Kamehamehas. And I can grab more treasure chests with Dion Wood in it. Once again, not very good. Stop trying to cast magic on things that I don't need to worry about die. Now, if I remember right, I can just hop down here. Yeah. Can I hop back up? I can. So these poles mean nothing to me at the moment. At the moment. Stop hitting me. You're only doing one damage. Now, I had said before that I do like the range of the flail. That has not changed. I do love the range of the flail. However, uh, as I have leveled up my ninja master, Hold on for one second. Let me finish my th thought, and then I'll then I'll uh, cut it out and take these guys on again. As I leveled up the, the Ninja Master, I have found that since his uh, agility is so high, he gets missed all the time. So I am more concerned about uh, trying to do damage as quickly as I can. So I've grown to love the Nux and the Sword more than the Flail, because the Flail is slow. All right, let me kill these guys again. They are dead once more, and I need to head this way, which I was trying to go before and for some reason didn't see. We can need to head down here and hit this switch, the drawing of the land. Yes, hit that switch. And everything around us shakes but us. We stand perfectly still. A distant noise. Hooray! We have changed something. It has definitely changed this room a ton. Let's destroy these guys. There is a new enemy down there. He is some form of ball. And he also dies in one hit if I get a crit with my Nox. Very nice. Now, I don't think I want to go that way just yet. I want to head... This place starts to get a little confusing with the layout. I want to head over to the right. And I want to grab this treasure chest right here with small seeds in it. Once again, seeds. Hooray! And I can grab an oblong seed as well. Hip, 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 hooray. And I want to ignore these switches here for, for the time being. And we can head back this way, killing these guys. Let's wait to kill the ball last. See if he drops something good for me. The Oh, there's an eye on that ball. 
He still didn't drop anything. Hooray. That's exactly what I want. Now we can head down here through this passage that opened up. And we can hit this switch down here. Drawing of the sky. Throw the switch. Of course you pull the lever. Why wouldn't you pull the lever? A distant noise. And that has actually changed something up here. Uh, that exit was not there previously. Now I am going to need to change to the flail in order to get this through this room. And defeat the enemies here. Did, didn't mean to actually kill him, but I will take it. I will take it. Now, I should be able to... But I don't think there's anything else up here, to be honest with you. I think it's just that room there. Hey! Why did you... Yeah, it's just that up there. But I have killed all the enemies. Why would you use the flail to kill one enemy but not kill that guy when he was clearly using his magic attack? Holy crap, that was over 500 total damage there between the magic and the physical attack with a crit and I believe we have yes a seal here luckily I already have the flail equipped I believe I believe that is a gnome stone seal it is not so then it's probably a Luna soul seal stone seal not soul seal. there we go Luna is down hooray and here we do have a new enemy <laughs> I'm so overpowered now, unfortunately. I kind of like it, but part of me also feels bad about that, to be honest with you. I think we need to continue heading this way. We do. Give me the round seed. And give me the chocolate lump. Always nice 